Man Camping, 2018. That was fucking freezing. I've been chained to a lie. I've been a slave to a lie. I can't keep going on like this. I can't keep this lie. Okay, let's see if the good spot is open or not. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Looking great. Looking awesome. We got the good spot. Happy times. Not here like one minute and already a beer in hand. <laughs> no, I hear man! Kick things off with some moon buggy. Oh. Oh, my it's the X -Man. Woo! Oh, Gentlemen, yeah. look at this service. Oh, that is, that's a, that's a classic reading. Sir, my beautiful friend, oh, how are you? I'm so good. Thank you. How's it going? Sir, how are you? Gentlemen, first one of the day. First one. First one of the day. Donald, see you. Oh, Nicky Smoker, I used to change his diapers. I used to change Nicky, Nicky Boy's diapers. You may not appreciate that I just said that, but it goes on. Enjoy. Yes, sir. <laughs> of course he is. What are you following the road, Elise? Thank you, sir. Gentlemen, it is an honor. I brought our friend. It will cut paper like you wouldn't believe. Hold your wrist out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you totally look good? You're like, oh yeah, like, I'm like, this oh yeah, because I totally oh, need yeah. to. Yeah, you uh, Rough start on, say, disc golf? Just a bit. Really rough. Really, really rough. Couldn't get a. Gonna go to flow. Can I feel the feel? Couldn't feel the fingers. No, I don't have an excuse. I just was chucking everywhere. I'd say disc golfing is probably one of my favorite things that we get to do at oh, yeah. camping. Wait, you're still wearing a sweater? <laughs> <laughs>
Count it. Sharp. Hey, Wayne, just clean off my tent when you're done. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey, you're good. Mr. Burns, in honor of your upcoming nuptials, we thought we would do something a little nice for you. Oh my God. I went to an Angels game last year. There was a little giveaway, so I thought I'd give you the giveaway. It's a little, uh, Backpack cooler. My dude! His little backpack oh, cooler. I love it, bud. Yeah? Yeah! Now there's something else in the little cooler section that is a little memento from us that uh, you can utilize here camping this year. Oh my god. <laughs> Gentlemen. And it's Angel Red. Gentlemen. It's Angel Red. Oh! <laughs> For real, you guys shouldn't have. Thank you so of much. Of course, man. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> we're, more, we're more surprised than anything else you're able to like, you know, I, lock down a woman. I agree. To you, gentlemen. That's interesting. What is that? It is uh, spilling. A hazy IPA called Topolo Bampo from modern times. Last year was the year that I started to like Sours. I think this is the year I start to like hazies. <laughs> Day one, night one. Tri tip. Tri tip. Senior Albert. Mad meat. Tri tip. Yeah. Santa Maria style. Got my own grill. Fat on top of it. Red oak. White oak. It's the best combination. This tri tip seasoned with Donald's rub. Onion, brown sugar, and a liqueur. For those refined tastes. This one, a little bit more heat. So green. Got some sugar, you got some brown sugar, you got some a bunch of other crap that I don't even know what it is, but it tastes mighty amazing. I'm very excited about tonight. I, I think the food this weekend is probably just all over, like just as a whole. Yeah. Probably some of the best food we've done. I don't know what percentage on this one is. Probably not. 12%? Mm, it's not it's terrible. Well, it's a fair start for the day. This is going to be better in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're good. The water's the power. The sun. Good trip. <laughs> Breakfast Friday morning. Sir Donald. Let's cook it. Mountain Man breakfast. We're gonna start with a lot of bacon here. Put that down. We're gonna get that cooking up in the Dutch oven. As soon as that cooks up a little bit, we're gonna add the onion, and we're gonna add the bell pepper. We're gonna let that all cook. Throw some potatoes on top, let that cook down, then throw on a whole lot of egg and sausage, and then we'll serve it up. Oh my. Well, the interesting thing is, is I met someone this week weekend I didn't expect to. I met him maybe a couple months ago, and I knew the first time that I tasted him, I, I would never go back. <laughs> that is true, though. <laughs> I didn't expect him to come up. Donald didn't tell me he was here. Paul didn't tell me he was coming. But I saw him, and it wasn't long before I got to taste him yet again. Mr. Albert. I already made some coffee, did you want some? Are you serious? Oh god. He's so smooth, he's gentle on the palate. And this is him. Coffee Carl. Oh, hold me. <laughs> god. This is the best beer ever. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go take it in his tent and have a very romantic moment with it. <laughs> Hey Donald, did we learn something about putting the drone over the fire? No, no we didn't. We didn't learn anything about putting drones over fires. Definitely didn't throw an ember onto Paul's leg.
like I said, didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. No. style challenges this year with cornhole. challenge comes down to disc golf <laughs> and the cornhole bracket challenge comes down to Paul and I but of course Paul's rooting for Team Donald so we'll see how this actually goes Did that do it? Oh my god, so if you don't hit this, it's all wins. Yeah. I have to get what now? You have to get one or a sinker. I have to hit something. I have to hit something. Yeah, right now I have a Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to ESPN Ain't the Ocho. Here we have the final tournament champions. And Paul is our champion. Three time world champion. We're able to do a pair off for disc golf this year and that was fun playing in pairs. Poppins, yo. Mary Poppins. Team Black Belt. Team Black Belt. Team Keen Shoes. Yeah. Team Calvert. Oh yeah. We did great. In the rain. What, in the cold. What did we end up at? Two under. Two under. What everybody else ended up more? Uh, more than that. That's much, much more. That's how I, I remember yeah. it. Playing disc golf in the rain is a lot of fun. What happened when you threw off that rock? I, I I don't recall. Oh, that's her big. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm on a cliff. You landed on the ledge. You are oh, kidding me. Rock. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> I think I can do it. You sure? As soon as he makes the decision to go down the cliff, like everyone starts bringing out their phones. <laughs> something's about to go wrong. I'm hoping. <laughs> yeah. We need all the evidence we can get. I kind of blacked out of fear. <laughs> something about being on the side of a wet rock full of moss <laughs> with a 15 foot drop. That seems level. Oh! <laughs> but like a man, you. Retrieve that disc, or is that a dog? Dogs retrieve. Uh, both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like a man dog, mm -hmm. you retrieve that frisbee. Nice save. And then you still parred the hole. I parred the hole. That was that was the biggest shock of that. Yeah. Best par ever of my life. That was pretty awesome.
I'll take whatever you can get, man. I'll take whatever you can. What happened when Albert takes a nap? Oh my God, I wish we had that on camera. When David Albert takes a nap, a dog comes out of the woods, <laughs> barks in his ear, and he jumps up and screams like a 12-year-old girl. <laughs> Very similar to when he jumps into water. Uh, flashback. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Dinner was Jason and I. No, as you were. Sorry, who did dinner? Myself and Mr. Burns. We're gonna throw in these beautiful pork ribs mm. into this here all smoker. Mm. It's gonna be two and a half hours later and delightful with a mm. wonderful pecan smoke for tonight. Oh! They were great. I wish somebody kept the character. He did an outstanding job smoking some uh, some linguisa, some uh, baby back ribs. Oh, those rare ribs. Fantastic. Um, what was the side dishes? Oh, corn and boil, uh, steamed corn and potatoes. potatoes. It was cold. The cold wind was awful. It was really, really cold. Yeah. We woke up multiple mornings with frost on the ground, uh, iced over tents. <laughs> we actually got snow up on the mountains this year. It's kind of cool. Really cool. We, and we walk out of our tents and they're, they're frozen. Like, <laughs> they crunch when you open them. I have a bag of cold weather gear that's next to my bed that did not make my car. So that was an interesting thing to forget when I need, you know, boots and a rain jacket that is not here. Cakes. Yeah, cobblers. we had cakes this year. The Eagle Scout Jason was making cobblers and cakes Dutch oven, in his Dutch culinary oven, specialist. Which yeah. was, they were just, they came out amazing. So what's your plan here? This is going to be a pineapple upside down cake. Something to have while we're cooking breakfast. Breakfast was uh, Jason and I. Chorizo and eggs, my specialty. Classic. Um, classic now. Classic now. Uh, we, we will be bringing it back next year, most likely. Um, with you know, this other little fixing and stuff. <laughs> you like my chorizo? Kimpy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was last night. <laughs> oh, remember kids, make sure to gooch it. There's some rain in the forecast, so you know, it's man camping, so we get to work. Just a nice little bit of ingenuity, man camping style. A wonderful shade, but not really from the wind. I mean, it was no. just for the rain and good for like two hours, mm -hmm. and then it needed to be taken down. Well, no, and then there was no rain the rest of the entire yeah. trip. Yeah. We used, so it's good that we we used it. it for like a whopping it's good two that hours. We did it, yeah, for that last, <laughs> that last little push. We added new holes to the course. It's a good addition. It gives us now 12 holes to play out here, which is great. So it makes it a good game. Lasts a little longer, have a little fun. Moves a little quicker now. I kind of like it. Fortunately, I think yesterday we got a redemption during the scramble. Very much. Uh, we were down most of the, I think the most of the round. We made a comeback toward the end. Yep. Get yep. some birdies. Yep. Yep. What else do we need Let's to talk about? Talk about the shooting. Oh yeah, the shooting. Um, so there was that. <laughs> Make my day. Classic. I had my worst shooting ever this year. I'm usually, I usually have a pretty good shot, but this year we put that egg on the stump and I went at it like four times before I hit that. Well, with the 22, you hit it first shot. 
No, I didn't. Oh. It took me like four shots. I was awful this year. <laughs> I think my first shot was the best shot, and then I, I went downhill, all downhill. Yeah. I should do the eggs. They're satisfying. Yeah. So you just pop. Shot the poor guy to death. We had to missed completely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He didn't get shot in the face nearly as much this year, though. <laughs> I got him. What were you saying? That I was gonna miss and bring shame to my family. I especially love the William Tell Challenge. That Why was... did you love that William Tell Challenge? <laughs> oh, dead center. Dead center on that album. <laughs> Second try, I'll admit, but a dead center shot. That was all Apple. Victory bite. Right that was here. all Apple. Yeah! <laughs> Apple tasted so good. So sweet. Oh, I was chewing gum. <laughs> That was a mistake. <laughs> oh! What a shot! Yeah! Woo! Nice! <laughs> Very nice! <laughs> uh, we're not going to bring a shotgun again. <laughs> we're definitely bringing a shotgun again. This is my boomstick! Trap shooting was so much fun. Yeah. Cool. Nice. You, you were having a great time once you started hitting the pitch. You were just going so nuts. Fun. <laughs> I want to do it again. You yeah. got to bring the shotgun back, man. That is a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. I ain't oh. got nothing but blue sky. Tons of fun. It just a majority of us were just awful and mm. terrible at it. I was horrible. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Not my game. It's fun to fire a shotgun. I've never shot a shotgun before. Even if you guys. missed, it's fun to shoot. No, it is fun to shoot, but I definitely missed a lot. I think I hit one target out of 12 shots total. The shotgun was a blast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just the apple. <laughs> Safety's on. <laughs> what happened, Bird? <laughs> Uh, I was a little too safe. <laughs> I'm just looking for oh. a good time. There we go. I love, I love weapons. <laughs> oh, yeah, things were going this way. There you go. Oh. <laughs> So Wayne and I, we cooked, we decided to take the St. Patrick's Day dinner feast this year. So we definitely did some, bought some brisket, corned beef, but uh, in short order, I will have another gentleman give you a more better description. Okay, here never. So what we had last night was a wee bit of a traditional Irish St. Patty's Day dinner. Quite scrumptious, to be honest with you. So the funny part is, it wasn't an Irishman making the fucking dinner. It was two Japanese that made the fucking dinner. Who the f does that? 
Who tell me who the f does? Who Japanese toy? Brilliant lads though, brilliant. Love the men to death. But who, from the other side of the flippin' world, can make a beautiful brisket, corned beef, may I ask? A lovely batch of mashed potatoes. Mm. Co-cannon, sir. Co-cannon. Mm. And on top of that, we had Irish call bump. <laughs> You're talking about the, the Baileys? Oh, 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 no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> You're talking about the You're right, I'm glad I recorded this. <laughs> <laughs> so we got your Guinness, which are piss points regardless. Then we got the Jameson, we got the Bailey's. Had a tree, drop it, shoot it, you understand? Right? Aye. Aye. Right? Well, get your fucking glasses, let's go. <laughs> Delicious Irish car bombs. Apparently the first for David Albert. I didn't yeah. realize. Yeah. He loved it. He did? He, he wants to go make him at home now with his wife. The beers were amazing. There was a lot of good runs. Favorite? My favorite, I think, was probably the 2016 Sukaba. You know, I, I, I have to agree with Paul. I think the 2016 Sukaba was pretty rocking good. So the Sukabas, man. I love the Sukaba vertical. Not just, you know, a Sukaba from one year. You get to try it, one, you know, one after another. After another. And you can just tell, taste all the nuances. And that's something you just get you to know, sip and enjoy. And, I think that's one of the things we get to appreciate and share, you know, every year. Big Mountains were fantastic, especially the anniversaries. Last night's uh, brewery run was, I don't know that I could pick one. One of them, yeah. 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 Was that chocolate one? Chocolate, um... Chocolate rain. Oh, there we go. My namesake. I liked how we started off with the beer with the highest alcohol content and then worked our way down to the least throughout the night. It actually yes. worked out well. Uh, the rum barrel age are not my uh, forte, but I don't know, maybe my palate changed just a little bit from the last two years and seemed to enjoy most of them. Even though I didn't drink as much as I did before because I did not want to absorb anybody's hangover. Deftones Phantom Brides, I'm glad a lot of those came up because those were very drinkable this trip. And then we had a lot of crawlers, lots of um, just, it was just good beer all around. <laughs> I never I never drank sour beers before this weekend. That was, that was a nice experience. That was, I enjoyed those, the barrel work stuff. Was my favorite for the weekend. This entire valley, it's green now, but it was white this morning. It got to like 27 degrees and just everything was frozen, everything was cold. Last year was our rainiest man camping trip, and we got some rain this year, but this was our coldest, coldest man camping trip by far. Well, I pooped in the frost this morning. Oh, about seven o'clock. Did it like insta freeze when it hit the ground? As I was unearthing my area, mm -hmm. it was just the earth was steaming, <laughs> and then I filled the hole. There you go. There you go. Another fantastic man camping adventure. It was a great time. It was a, it was a good weekend. It was a little rainy and cold at the start, but it cleared up nice. The campfires were great. The views of the sky were particularly amazing. And, uh, it was very enjoyable. You know, it, good group of guys. Good group of guys. And it just, it's another example of just rain or shine. We all want to be here. We yep. just all make sure we have a good time. The group of guys this year was top notch also. It was a great Eight group. of us, but it felt like a small group of your best friends. It was awesome. Truly the all-star team of man camping this year. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. Completely a fabulous and outstanding weekend here at the middle. What the f are we anyway? <laughs> <laughs>